This is Hanging Heavy. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hanging Heavy. As always, I'm your boy, Desecrator, and today I'm solo. But that means I got my guitar. And uh, that's okay, because I'm feeling a little fine. Ill. I just want to play fast. And uh, that's all about that. That's about it. Uh, since I'm today, I'm going to go ahead and do the tradition that we have around here at the beginning of every episode. We do a shot, we chug a beer, we take a big old drink of our drink, and that's all right. Uh, for those of you listening, put your shits up in the air in three, two, hold on, I don't have the wrong <laughs> one. It's a little strong, a little bit of grandpa's old cough medicine. So yeah, I'm fixing to maybe start messing around with some more music now that I've got all my gear worked out. Uh, The guitar that I'm playing right now. uh, Was gifted to your boy. Because at the moment I only had one electric guitar. <clears throat> and this ain't it. This one uh, was uh, given to me, or more or less, it's on loan from one of the boys. Uh, shout out Red Dragon. Uh, we've spoke about him before on the show, but yeah, he hooked me up. Uh, he gave me his uh, old guitar that he had laying around, and I'm putting it to use. I fuck with it a lot. Not that I'm a great guitar player by any means, but I like to fiddle, fiddle around on the guitar, play mostly fucking power chords and chug the fuck out of myself, but that's okay. You gotta start somewhere, right? Especially uh, because I'm a non-trained formal bass player, so more strings hurts my head. Surprise, motherfucker. Uh, But yeah, uh, speaking of Red Dragon, uh, he's been showing some interest in the show. So again, shout out to you, Red Dragon. Fucking hopefully we get you on the show. And it'll it'll be good, man. Because our boy Red Dragon, uh, he works uh, at one of the local hospitals. uh, Not to say which one or to dox the boy so we'll leave it at that <clears throat> but he's worked overnight uh, graveyard shift and uh, I'm sure there's all kinds of fucking all kinds of crazy ass stories I'm pretty sure there's a lot of or maybe even a bunch of (laughs) 
but yeah that would that would be cool hopefully we'll work that out with him and we'll get together and either have him in studio or maybe just oh, oh no did i break it over the phone or over fucking some digital calling card okay i did not break my guitar my guitar on the radio uh, uh, i did not i did not have sexual relations with that guitar i did not break it i was fiddling with it when i should not have and it made a funny noise and i thought i broke it but uh, i did not and it works fine watch Uh, but yeah, um, that'll be cool. At the moment, I'm also trying <clears throat> a little bit of uh, some... Uh, I don't want to call them techniques or whatever, but I'm trying some different shit out on my mics. And right now, I think it sounds pretty goddamn good. Uh, but yeah, there's a... I saw these fucking, they're essentially mic shields. I don't want to call them isolators because they're not. They're just like foam encasements for a microphone. And now this foam isn't dense enough to really block sound out. But since the mic is encapsulated in this makeshift cube out of sound deflecting foam uh it it helps filter noise my mic should sound a little cleaner than it normally does and uh, that's with me boosting the gain and uh adding said a uh, homemade enclosure to it i can blow directly into my mic and there's no noise from that no wind noise no p p plosives but I have a feeling I made this thing too dang big. <laughs> too damn big. And uh, I can't see my monitor for fuck all. So uh, that's why I put on the guitar and I figured I would just uh, try to fill some silence up since I can't be looking up shit on my computer because this monstrosity of uh, I guess a uh, scientific test uh, on my microphone <clears throat> so I needed something to do in the meantime But yeah, this fucking free guitar, I got it to sound pretty decent on my computer software. Now this is all on computers, right? This is not a... I have a, an amp with a pedal board. And now that's less convenient than just plugging in my guitar straight into my interface and being able to... But at the same time, I don't have the same finesse. So this guitar through my interface and me being so close to so many goddamn electronics. Uh, I have to have my noise gate turned up drastically. So as you can tell, when I struck a string, when I pluck a string, it'll ring out until it reaches a certain threshold. And then it'll cut off because if you couldn't tell, there's a little humming. because of the gain that I have peaked up and peaked up I mean like I have the gain way up to get that fucking nasty distortion now fucking this isn't the tone that I'm gonna use by any means but it's a good it's a crushing tone for just fucking diddling
So yeah, that's fucking awesome. <clears throat> now, I changed a bunch of st- no, not a bunch of stuff on it. I, I customized it a little bit to my liking. Nothing expensive or anything. Uh, the one thing I do want to change on this goddamn guitar is the tuners. The ones that I put on it are really shitty and they don't hold tune very well. So I got to tune it pretty much every time I pick it up. Uh, but yeah, that's what happens when you pay for six guitar tuners for under 20 bucks. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, fucking... <clears throat> your boy's just wanting to... I guess make some beautiful, sweet music. <clears throat> Whether that be nasty, gnarly, distorted guitars or... I fuck with electronic music as well. I'm going to go ahead and take off my guitar. <clears throat> I like to make just music that I like to listen to. I've said it before. If I like the music that I've made, I go ahead and add it to the episodes. I don't, I don't mind sharing the rudimentary music that I like to make. Because sometimes... Simpler is better. You don't have to have a hundred channels of fucking music or instruments or layers. Sometimes the simple shit is uh, always the best. (coughs) Excuse me. But yeah, fucking uh, puppies... uh, busy at the moment so he can't record so I'm recording this solo dolo and we'll reconvene when uh, the time is right Uh, but fucking let's go ahead and hear a word from one of our sponsors and uh, we'll be right back Uh, yeah there it is the gay bomb Look it up for yourself. I mean, this is what they're... What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. And I'm not saying people didn't naturally have homosexual feelings. I'm not even getting into it, quite frankly. I mean, give me a break. You think I am, like, shocked by it, so I'm up here bashing it because I don't like gay people? I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Serious crap. I'm sick of being social engineered. It's not funny. Are your frogs turning gayer and gayer by the day? Have you noticed your green buddy slowly transition into a pride flag? Well, now you have the chance to combat this with the new frog treatment tablet. Now you see, frogs is an acronym. And what that stands for is full removal of gay. Frog. Now you see, the way this works is you put a tablet in the water and it removes all the gay side effects and chemicals that the government keeps putting in there to turn you and your frogs gay. Don't sit around while they mingle with your dangle. Remember, all you gotta do is drop one of these tablets directly into hot water and you'll remove all them substances that the government is hiding. Hiding in plain sight. I don't like it now. All you gotta do now is order quickly for a low, low price of $59.99. Shipping not included. All sales are final. Remember, frog treatment tablets. Remember, you can go from gay to yay with frog treatment tablets. Shout out one time to the frog treatment tablets. I was thinking about what to talk about and I remembered me and Poppy play we play online together uh, video games mostly on Steam PC or PS5 uh, as as well <clears throat> and we stumbled upon this uh, detective slash puzzle game and it's a two player game and 
we did the, I guess, the free level demo of said game. And uh, we enjoyed it. You essentially need each other to solve puzzles in the game for each other to progress. It's uh, not really a super interactive game. But we've talked about possibly streaming it. So if we eventually do go ahead with that, we'll come up with a date and we'll mention it in the episode that we record when we figure the date out if we decide to do it. It's not a guarantee. But yeah, if you guys eventually would like to see that, fucking let us know. Comments on YouTube and fucking every other platform that you can leave comments on. Uh, But YouTube is the easiest. Uh, But yeah, uh, if we do figure anything out about that, We'll bring it up. We'll talk about it. That way, if people do want to watch us play, then we can all be on the same page. And whether that'll be three, four people, uh, so be it. Uh, It's just something that we've talked about. So, I mean, it's nothing serious. uh, But I've always been curious of streaming a game. Just... I'm not afraid to look stupid because I am stupid. (laughs) That's not the issue. Uh, But yeah, it would be cool to maybe see somebody interact for fucking once. Uh, So uh, possibly look out for that in the future. Uh, But yeah, fucking... uh, There's pretty much nothing to watch at the moment for me. I'm not dying to get into new shit because new shit usually tends up to be fucking trash. And uh, why bother? So I recently restarted watching the comedy crime detective series Psych. It used to be on USA, I believe, back in the 2000s. Maybe it was on fucking NBC, I don't remember, I don't care, but I know it's on Peacock now. <clears throat> but fucking, I still have cable, so apparently they still show it on a channel. I'm not gonna give them clout. So I've been re watching it. Uh, I've DVR'd the series and for some reason they literally restarted from the very first episode continually I think I'm on the third season already recorded I use a DVR humble brag (coughs) but fucking yeah Psych is a great TV show I love that show it's dumb it's funny. Uh, I like the characters that are in it. And, uh... Yeah, it's just... They, it's an original premise. They don't have those these days. <clears throat> and when they try to, they really fuck it up. God damn it, Bobby! <clears throat> but yeah, I'll, I'll wait for Bobby to get back so that we can talk about Twisted Metal. I finally finished watching all of that. Um, I think I'm gonna finally finish watching the new season of The Expanse on Amazon. <clears throat> when it came out, I never saw it, and then I kind of just forgot about it, and it's been like a year or something since it came out. So I guess there's still shit to watch. I know Hollywood is shut down essentially but there's so much shit that has already been made there's so many classics there's so many streaming platforms like we don't need more new shit especially when it's as garbage as the shit they've been pumping out as of late so yeah fucking 
you're paying for these services. Fucking use them. Watch something that you were always wanting to watch and you never got around to it. Now's the time, because new shit ain't happening. <clears throat> oh shit, I guess. I really got... Uh, nothing else, so... Since it's just your boy, let me go ahead and... Uh, real quick... Oh, uh, go ahead and uh, restart this uh, channel, but... I got nothing else more to say, and I don't want to drag on talking about nothing. So, thank you guys for joining. I'm your boy, Desecrator. As always, much love and rich and rare. <laughs>